Hi guys, it's Sinamka4 here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. We're going to be taking a look at the data transfer and charging connector. As you can see here, Samsung has decided to no longer use a micro USB 2.0 data transfer and charging ports for its Note line of products. And if I bring in my S4 here, you can see what a micro USB 2.0 port looks like and what the new Note 3's micro USB 3.0 port looks like. It looks kind of double-ended with a split in the middle. The reason for this is because the Note 3's rear-facing camera can record videos in 4K resolution ultra high definition which is 3840 by 2160. Video recorded in 4K resolution does take up a lot of storage space on your handset so in order to move those across to other devices you need super speedy micro USB 3.0 which has data transfer speeds of up to 5 gigabits a second whereas micro USB 2.0 only has data transfer speeds of up to 480 megabits a second. And here we have the data transfer and charging cables for both devices. Along the left hand side you've got the Note 3's micro USB 3.0 connector Along the right hand side you've got the S4's micro USB 2.0 connector. Essentially both connectors look very similar. The Note 3's connector has an added rectangular connector to the right hand side as you can see there. The other ends of the cables now and you can see the size and shape of the connectors are exactly the same. However the Note 3's USB 3 connectivity is symbolised with a blue interior along the left hand side and the USB 2 connectivity for the S4 is symbolized with a white interior along the right hand side. I wouldn't worry if all you have access to is standard USB 2.0 ports whether on chargers or on computers because USB 3 is backwards compatible so you can still use your micro USB 2.0 cable like I have here from my Galaxy S4 or any other micro USB 2.0 connector that you have. Plug it in straight in towards the right hand side of the micro USB 3.0 port and it will still continue to recognize it as a media device and charge it as well. Although it will be slower than USB 3 connection speeds but remember in order to benefit from those high speeds you still need to have a USB 3 port on your computer or charger. And that was a look at the data transfer and charging connector on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. As ever any comments or questions you guys have got hit them up in the comment section down below there gives a thumbs up if you like this video and you like what you saw and if you haven't already done so hit subscribe. It's also down there as well doesn't cost you a penny and you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching have a wicked day and we'll see you next time.